Hey guys, King Cade here and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to use Roblox's new AI coding system on Roblox Studio. Let's get right into this. Also, sorry if the audio quality is pretty bad. I am currently using a different microphone, so probably sounds pretty weird. Yeah, so to turn on AI coding, what you have to do is click file right here, go down to beta features, and then scroll down a little bit, which it should pretty much be at the top, and make sure that this is checked mark on. Me, it was automatically turned on for me, but go ahead and make sure that it has a check and click save and then it should pretty much go ahead and be turned on also by the way if it doesn't work make sure that your game is published and so make sure you publish or save it because if your game isn't published then i don't really think it will work i went ahead and tried it without it being published and it didn't work so how you use it is you go ahead and create a script so you can create a script on a part i believe and you can also create a script in service script service and pretty much anywhere else you would create a script so here's a small script that i have right here to go ahead and spawn in a part just a pretty small part and we wanted to go ahead and levitate up and down so what we do is we go ahead and type in some comments so make sure to do two dashes and this is a comment right here and we say make this part levitate up and down go over here click enter and then in a few seconds it should go ahead and generate the code and there we go so there's the code right there and if you want to use it go ahead and click tab and then we'll go ahead and use the code right there so i'm still pretty new to this code and learning how to do it but that is pretty much how you do it if we go ahead and click run the game i'm not really sure if it's going to make it levitate up and down because i don't think i really anchored it yeah, so as you can see it is going up and down i never anchored the part so i'm not really sure if that really works and there we go so we can see it is working i didn't anchor the part in the script but we did anchor it just there and it doesn't really look like it's levitating up and down it looks like it's just kind of going upward right now so it seems like there are a few bugs so you probably do want to know some basic stuff about coding also i do recommend testing this out a little bit i personally haven't tested it out too much but i have seen that people can actually just put a script onto a part like this let's go ahead and open up the script and i said make this part change between green and blue every five seconds you can go ahead and try to see if this works for you i've seen it work for other people but for me it's personally not working maybe i went ahead and typed it in wrong or something but i don't know this isn't working for me it only works whenever i type in a little bit of code such as this before it and then i go ahead and type this in then it makes it work but yeah i recommend trying it out using it quite a bit and then you can probably figure out how to use it overall sometimes it doesn't work whenever you click enter if it doesn't work go ahead and just save your game and probably publish it again it didn't work for me so i click save to roblox and then it did start working again so if it doesn't work either just close roblox studio and reopen it or just save it to roblox and then it should start working again so just if i go ahead and delete this right here and just delete it click enter and then in a few seconds it will go ahead and pop up once again click tab to make sure it's active also if you know absolutely nothing about coding i do recommend using chat gbt go ahead and get code so you can tell chat chat gbt to create a script and lua which is the coding language roblox uses you can go ahead and tell it to script something in that and then you can copy and paste it in here and if there's any errors or anything then you can use the roblox coding ai to hopefully help you fix that so it is mostly meant to help you code and not really meant to code the entire game but if you want you could try coding an entire game with this but it probably would be pretty difficult and yeah that's how you use the new roblox coding ai and once again i do recommend testing around with it a little bit so you can go ahead and get the hang of it because right now i haven't really used it too much so i don't know too much about it but overall that's how you do it you have to have a little bit of code you can try using it without a little bit of code but that hasn't really been working for me i recommend using a little bit of code add some comments click enter and then it will generate the code right here so it is pretty useful but probably not best for coding an entire game and yeah, so that's going to go ahead and be all for this video, though. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video.